Ukraine. Calling on the government to send home hundreds of thousands of soldiers who've been fighting for nearly two years. Yaroslava Mucha says that if her country is to win, fresh troops must replace those who've already given so much. We all understand that it will be a very long war. Our soldiers who are fighting for two years, they deserve the time to be replaced by another one. And also one of my goal also is um, to win in this game. And we cannot win with uh, harmed and uh, tired and exhausted soldiers. So far, this is a small movement, but it comes at a time when Ukraine's generals and government are in dispute about how many people the army needs to conscript to fight during the coming year. <laughs> on social media, campaigners share scenes of the public turning on soldiers who are looking for those dodging military service. This is happening as Ukrainian MPs are debating a bill to sort out military manning. And this question are for president, for parliament, for government, and so on. I think sometimes we are trying to avoid these questions, and that's, that's why this, uh, this issue started to be very sensitive. The army has said it wants 500,000 new soldiers to replace the fallen, commemorated here, allow them to send home the battle-weary, and to form new units. The parliament and government have been reluctant to call up that many, fearing it'll hit the economy and prove unpopular. So in the end, uh, generals always want numbers which uh, uh, impress people. But the most important element is different. The most important element is that as long as the people of Ukraine believe that this country has to be defended, we will keep fighting. And as of now, I see the polls and I see that people want, country, want the country to continue defending itself. This is the place in Borispol, a suburb of Kiev, where local men are received for military service. The colonel running it explained the system, which still is largely paper-based and which thousands who don't want to serve are successfully dodging. He's hoping the new law will allow them to summon recruits online. But the new law on military service hasn't been passed yet, let alone gone into effect, leaving questions about how many of the troops the Ukrainian army needs will actually be available. So the government has ended up with hundreds of thousands of exhausted soldiers who can't yet be demobilized and a need for hundreds wants to reshuffle the army leadership. Mark Urban, BBC News, Kyiv.